What is up guys and welcome back to my channel, my name is Tom and if this is the first time you have come across my channel then please subscribe, like and whatever. I do videos on photography and today and others will be on Open University and yeah let's get straight into the video. Listen. Now today I am talking about my first year as a Open University student. Uh, I've done previous videos on this before. So if you haven't checked them out, check them out. I'll put them in the description if I remember. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go over what my first year was like, advise you guys and go on from there. So backtracking, in case you've not seen my videos before, I am doing a computing and IT degree. Um, during the first year, I did it full-time. Well, did the equivalent of full-time year. So that meant I did four modules. Um, I did basically three computing ones, there were two based on computing in real life, like typically like your computers, your mobile phones, cloud computing, Python programming, etc. Um, and then I did robotics, which, well, it was called, the module was called technology in practice, I think, if I remember, might be wrong, but it did robotics, um, Linux, and what was the other thing it did? Robotics, Linux, and I think it just did a bit. Oh, it just basic programming. Anyway, robotics, Linux, and something else. Clearly, I did well on that because I can't remember it. But no, I passed it. It's alright. And then, um, I did a maths one, um, which I did essential mathematics. Now. Because I was doing four modules, it was expected of me to do 40 hours a week. Um, however, two of those modules uh, were like back to back, so I did one for six months and another for six months, where usually you'll do four modules together throughout the year. So although I still had to do 40 hours a week, but what it actually also entailed was that I did maths for. 10 hours, I did the TM112, TM129 Technologies Practice one for 10 hours again, and then I did the other module for 20 hours a week, and then that finished February, and then when I started the, other, the next one, I did that for 20 hours a week instead. You get it. Um, all in all, brilliant. It was been a great year. I've learned a lot. It's been hard, but been good at the same time. Um, I'm coming off the back of doing college, not last year, but year before I'd finished college. Um, did a level three in game development, got a DDM, just so you know roughly how long it's been since I've done some sort of education, not that long really, about a year. So, wasn't too bad. My only module that I have struggled with is my maths. Um, there is two maths, my mathematic modules if you happen to do computing in IT there is two you can pick from there's the essential mathematics and then there's use of mathematics or something like that probably completely wrong on that but there is another mathematic module and the other one is supposed to be slightly easier and in my head I was probably a little bit cocky about it um, in the sense that I I thought, well, might as well do the harder one to get it out of the way. It might be better for me long term to learn the harder one. And not only that, maths was something that I've never really struggled with throughout all of school, really. I've been absolutely fine with it. Turns out it was a little bit more difficult for me. I don't know whether it was just the entire Open University scheme and just getting back up to speed with it and everything. But I struggled to the point where halfway through I postponed the second half till next year. Um, which, you know, means they've saved all my assessments since then and they will apply for next year, so I'll do the same assessments again but it gives me an extra year to learn the stuff the only problem with that is, well, there's no problem with that but the reason why I struggled with it so much was I just struggled with advanced algebra as such like, it does start off like kind of slow and build up but it just... I don't know whether it's built up a bit too fast or I just got a bit lost somewhere, but it got to the point where I was really struggling with it 
the point where I wouldn't have passed my assessment had I done it. So, yeah. That's my my advice if you do happen to do computer IT and if you do not know algebra like really well or reasonably well, then I'd go for the other one. Obviously, I don't know what the other one teaches you because I haven't done it. Um, chances are there is some algebra in that. It just might not be quite as intense. So, yeah, that's that. And also with postponing the maths till next year, I mean I didn't do the maths exam at the end of this year. So, there's that as well, so I can't really advise on that. Now, the other ones um, did assessments through different ways. There was ICMA, which is an assessment on the computer. It's basically like a multi-choice quiz. And there is TMAs. Now, not every module will have an ICMA, but near enough every module, at least every module I've done, and I presume every module that they do, just do TMAs, which is tutor mass, tutor marked assessments where basically it's more of a traditional test um, but it's just not got a time constraint or anything you do it in your own time um, you have a set of questions and you just write the you know the essay about it basically these questions um, as you would do in a normal exam and um, yeah that's that that was how they do TMAs and then you obviously most of the time you do it on the computer but for like maths, you have to do it handwritten and then scan it into your computer as a PDF and then send it off. Or you can send it in by post. I think you have to send it in a bit earlier. I'm not sure. I think you send it a bit earlier if you send it in by post. And you also have to make that clear that you want to send them all by post early on in the year, if I remember rightly. But uh, obviously I didn't do that. I did everything online, so a lot easier it's got a very straightforward system online where you just go on it you upload your file done done and if you have several files all you do is put in a folder and zip lock it um and then send that off so yeah it's very straightforward in the computer and i presume it's very straightforward if you post it i presume you just have an address that you send it off to i don't know i think there's an additional bit of paper guinea pigs I presume it's a different, I presume you have a bit of paperwork that you might have to fill out. I don't know if it's you have to fill it out every time or just the first time or whatever. But yeah, that's that. And yeah, that's my first year. In a nutshell, not too bad. Been very good, been very interesting doing computing. Um, online, there is plenty of resources and stuff. There's online classes that you can, that you can do that I've joined in a few times. Um, if you don't make online classes, sometimes they do record them, but they don't every time. But as far as I've known, recently they've had a meeting and they've been told to record as much as possible, which is good for us. But um, it also kind of depends how many people are in the room, because sometimes you have a recording and the tutors have to do it with like four other people, because not many people have gone to that, tutor, that meeting, that like teaching session. So um, I don't know. It, it's good, but could have been better in some senses yeah so online is very straightforward you have plenty of online resources to go through with your textbooks at the beginning you get some only well most of your textbooks you get sent um you'll flick through them and then online they all have weekly tasks for each individual module so it might be for like the one i'm doing now is I have to read a certain part of my textbook, a certain section, like part two or something that I'm on for this new part three of my module. So um, some parts I have to read like section two and then do question two of my TMA and then there's some online stuff like there might be videos to go along with the subject matter, there might be an additional quiz just to make sure you've got everything in your mind um, or there might be some optional stuff like bit of light reading to do that might just go a bit more in depth on certain subjects but that's all online tutors um are very cheerful and nice and just easy going um yeah the most of them tend to email you and keep in regular contact with you they tend to email you when a team is due roughly about a week before it's due they'll email you saying just you know just remind that it's due in blah 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 date um, if you need any help, let me know. Blah, blah, blah. They're very, uh, they're very good to responding as well. Uh, I think I need to, I need to email my tutor 
when I was on about postponing my maths till next year. And she was very helpful with it, and she just gave me pointers on what to do and what to expect. And ultimately, I had to phone student services, which, again, student services are very straightforward and very kind and very easygoing. Uh, they get to the point very quickly and don't make you feel silly if you're postponing half your module till next year. So that's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really good. Typically, most people don't study full time like I've done, so don't get put off by the thought of having to do 40 hours a week. Most people only do two modules a week, I think that's the usual, which is 20 hours, which is still a lot, admittedly, if you're working full time and you've got kids and etc. Not everyone can necessarily do that, but you just pick and choose. If you can only do one module, you can do one module. Um, you know, it's it's completely up to you, so don't think you have to work, you have to do 40 hours. That's not the case at all. In fact, the vast majority don't. They just do, like I say, about two hour modules, 20 hours, you know, spend like an hour in the evening, sometimes the weekend, whatever, you know, doing what they can. But that's also the other good, other thing for Open University. It's very open <laughs> and you can just do your work when you want and when you can. So, I don't know, if you're working nights, you can do it during the day or if you work 12 hour shifts and you've got a few nights off you can work into the middle of the night if you want to if you've got kids and that's when you've got a spare time I don't know but you can do your work whenever tutorials vast majority of them are in the evening there is the odd one that will be like a Saturday lunchtime and yeah like I say there, there's usually quite a few options for each individual like topic they have to cover they do a few different time slots so you know, it's available for everyone pretty much. Some modules um, do have an exam, a proper exam. Like I said, my maths one this year would have had an exam. Um, for that, they find you the venue and they organise. I'll try and quickly, I don't know what I've talked about or when it cut off because, like I say, I wasn't paying attention <laughs> on the timer. So, might have just stopped, might not have. How long has that been recording for? My audio has been recording for just shy of 15 minutes, so I don't think I've missed that much. So I'll, I'll just very quickly go over what I've been doing. Um, I talked about TMAs, I'm pretty sure that was in it. And exams, what I was talking about with exams is they try and allocate you a venue in a nearby major city. Like for myself, I live in Wakefield. Um, the nearby city that they allocated me to an exam was Leeds. Um, which is the closest major city so just try I think you can uh, I think you can ring student services and talk to them and they might be able to give you a point of where they would theoretically put you but usually it's just a very nearby major city whichever the major city is that's nearest to you chances are they'll put you in there because they do try and get it closest to yourself um, that being said um, not all modules have exams like I said I technically had four this year and only one of them had an exam. The others were TMAs and ICMAs and all that stuff. So there's that. And what I was just talking about before I realised my camera had turned off was that um, some modules, like the one module I've got next year, has a day school, which might not, you know, might defeat the purpose for some of you guys to do Open University because it means going to a place and staying there for a day and talking and whatever. All that day school is, it's just, it is mandatory, but it is just one Saturday um, from like 10 till like 4, I think, towards the end of next year, obviously, and I think they do like three or four weekends on the trot, so you've got a choice of Saturdays to go. It's just the one Saturday, I think they do it on Saturday and Sunday, in fact, for like three or four weekends in a trot, in a, rot, in a trot, and you just have to go there for one day. Um, but like I say, it is mandatory, so keep an eye out for that when you look at modules. But yeah, I think that's that. Um, very quickly, yeah, it's been a great year. Um, done what I can. <laughs> a little bit good about the mod about the math module, but I've got the books, and it is the same one next year, and I'm trying to get my head round my maths ready for next year. So that's that. That's good. Um, just for funding on that, just in case if anyone is wondering, postponing my maths hasn't cost me anything more. Um, still covered by my student loan, and technically it is free for me to study next year. 
as it's not part of my student loan at all for next year so that's that because obviously they've been paid for this year so yeah just a quick one on that um if you are thinking about applying remember to apply for if you are applying for a student loan as well remember to apply for a part-time student loan even if you are studying full-time like myself it's still considered a part-time course so make sure you do that and um yeah I'm open to any questions. If you guys want to ask me questions in the comments or tweet me or anything like that, my social media links in the description. And like I say, I will answer any questions you've got in the comment section. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will make another video maybe when I start next year or if you guys have certain questions that you want to ask me and I will do a video on those questions if need be. But other than that, I will see you in the next video in a bit.